Tegan. You need to get a grip. What do you mean, Hillary? I visited mom at the hospital today. She mentioned that you came to see her recently. Yeah? So? Is there a problem with that? She said you asked her for pocket money. <laughs> so what? What's wrong with a daughter asking her mom for money? Listen, she's battling an illness right now. It's unacceptable to ask her for money in her condition. I can't help it. I'm not working. <laughs> That's exactly the problem. Why aren't you working? We have dad's inheritance, so I don't need to work. You spent that inheritance a long time ago. Stop relying on others and stand on your own. Nope. I'm going to marry rich and live a luxurious life as a housewife. <laughs> so you're planning to rely on mom's money until you get married? That's right. I don't want to end up like you slaving away at a job. It's pathetic to dedicate your life to work when you're a woman. Work gives my life meaning. A lowly office worker, and you call that meaningful? <laughs> Excuse me? I'm not an office worker. Whatever. Office worker or sales rep, it doesn't matter. I never want to work from morning till night for a company. Anyway, please, be more considerate of mom. She's weak from her illness, so stop asking her for money. When you visit, be sweet and encourage her. <sighs> What's the point of visiting if I don't get money? Oh my. I really hate hospitals. The smell of disinfectant, the cold air, everyone looking gray. I feel nauseous just being there for a few minutes. I don't know how you visit her so often. Our mom is hospitalized. It's only natural. I just can't do it. Sitting in the waiting room gives me a headache, and I feel suffocated in the hospital room. Tegan, this isn't about what you like or can handle right now. Mom cares about you deeply. Think about all the times she took care of you growing up. It was her job as a parent. That's normal. <laughs> it is not. Remember how she stayed up all night to care for you when you had a fever? And she always stood by you when you got in trouble at school. Well, yeah, but... When you wanted to drop out of high school, she supported you completely. Thanks to her, you graduated. I guess so. Now's the time to repay her for all that she's done for you. Not visiting her just because you can't get money will break her heart. Ugh, you're so annoying. You're always so serious and preachy. Did you even listen to what I said? Yeah, yeah. I'll visit her when I have some free time. I'm busy. I have to go now. Bye. Hey, Hillary. What are you up to now? I just got back from the hospital. Really? You were there this late? I visit after work, so it always ends up being late. <laughs> ah, you're such a boring workaholic as always. So what do you want? Did you text just to insult me? If you have so much free time, why don't you visit mom? Actually, I'm super busy, you know. Busy? Without a job? You were desperate enough to ask our hospitalized mom for money. I told you I don't need to work. We have dad's inheritance. As I mentioned before, that money went to mom, not you. You spent your share in no time. But eventually it'll be mine, right? Oh, and remember you promised to, to renounce your inheritance. <laughs> As a workaholic, you don't even have time to spend your salary. Must be saving up a lot, huh? I never made such a promise. Stop making things up. Besides, talking about inheritance now is highly inappropriate. It's not like we're talking about it in front of mom. <sighs> You're too serious and boring. You've always been that way, studying all the time. Always at the library, never hanging out with friends. You wasted your youth. I preferred reading alone. 
I enjoyed my youth in my own way. But you were popular with the boys because of it. Remember how the boys in your class used to call you the nerd? I remember. It never bothered me. Even in college, you got into a top university, but were still the same, always studying and boring. No parties or anything fun. University is for learning, not for partying. <sighs> You're too much of a goody two-shoes. It's hilarious. I can't believe someone as serious as you actually got married. Being serious doesn't mean I can't fall in love. But acting like the perfect good girl all the time will bore your husband eventually. What? Poor you. Getting cheated on by Emmett. Uh, what are you talking about? Where did you get that idea? I'm just telling you, he's having an affair. Wait a minute. Did you actually see him cheating? Not exactly. The other woman is me. <gasps> you haven't noticed, have you? Typical workaholic. <laughs> Tegan, you... You caused a huge scandal before with a married man. But haven't you learned your lesson? And now it's my husband? How twisted can you be? Oh, please. He said being with a serious workaholic like you made him lose interest. So when I gave him some attention, he got totally hooked. Oh my god. And guess what? Right now, I'm on vacation with him. <laughs> We're here in Cancun kissing on the beach. What? We're planning to stay here for about 10 days. So it's not just a fling, it's a full-on affair? Exactly. <laughs> and you didn't even notice he went on a trip? All you care about is work, huh? It's been busy. And with mom's care, I didn't have the headspace to track his whereabouts. How did you even afford this trip? Neither of you have that kind of money. What are you talking about? He has plenty of money. Emmett? Oh, and we're keeping our phones off until we get back. Hold on. We don't want to hear your nagging, Miss Serious Workaholic. You know Mom's seriously ill. The doctor said this is a critical time for her treatment. They always exaggerate to make money and scare patients. You falling for it is cute in a pathetic way. Tegan. Talk later. Honey, we need to talk. Oh no, I missed it. What are you talking about? I was just about to turn off my phone when I tapped your notification by accident. I see. Well, I'm glad I caught you in time. What are you doing with Tegan? Oh, that. Can you explain what's going on? Is it true you're having an affair with her? It's true. I love her. Ugh, it's despicable to go after your wife's sister. Look, if there's a young, cute woman in front of you, of course you're going to make a move. You realize you're married, right? She's so hot, she makes me forget I'm married. She's beautiful, her skin is perfect. Unlike you, she takes care of herself every day. And she's so fun to be around. She enjoys everything we do together, always smiling. It's a blast being with her. Mm-hmm. What I love most is how she depends on me. When she says she can't live without me, it makes me want to protect her. Sure, she's always been dependent on others. And what about you? You barely wear makeup, always thinking about work. You're so serious and uptight, it's exhausting to be around you. Then why did you choose me as your wife? Back then, you were young and quite pretty. I thought marrying you was a good idea. But now, you're just a worn-out, wrinkled old lady. Just looking at you is a turn-off. You speak so cruelly to your wife. If you had the charm of Tegan, it would have been better. But you act all high and mighty just because you have a good job and earn money. You don't bring me any comfort. I don't think I'm acting high and mighty. Anyway, I'm happy being with her. Honestly, I've never had such a great physical connection with anyone before. <laughs> Thanks for oversharing. Anyway, 
My mom is currently hospitalized in critical condition, you know. You think it's okay to be on a vacation with her? Using her illness to get my attention is just a turn-off. What the heck? This is the end of our conversation. Wait. I want to enjoy every second with Tegan. I have no interest in wasting time on you, you wrinkled old hag. When we get back from Cancun, we're filing for a divorce. Fine. Don't think you'll get off easy when you return. Hey, Hillary. Another hard day at work for you? <sighs> I just got back from Cancun. We had our phones off the whole time, but I thought I'd let you know. Ah, <sighs> the 10 days I spent with Emmett were absolutely wonderful. It was like paradise every day. In the mornings, we took leisurely walks on the hotel's private beach, enjoying the clear blue skies and the shimmering sea. Then we lounged by the beach, sipping cocktails and soaking up the sun. In the evenings, we had romantic dinners. We enjoyed amazing seafood at a restaurant with a view of the ocean. At night, we held hands by the pool and gazed at the stars, talking about our future. Spending all day with him was pure happiness. We also went snorkeling, swimming with colorful fish and laughing together. And we took a cruise, gliding over the deep blue sea, feeling the pleasant breeze and snuggling close. He even had a special surprise planned for me. A candlelit dinner on the beach. Ah, it was the best trip ever. Hillary, why are you ignoring me? I see you've read the messages. Emmett is mine now. You're done, so hurry up and get divorced. <laughs> because of you? Mom passed away. What? No way! When I visited her, she was talking just fine. The day after you two turned off your phones, her condition took a sudden turn for the worse. The funeral is already over. No! What are you talking about? How is that my fault? You know her condition suddenly worsened it two months ago, but she miraculously recovered. She was wearing Dad's ring as a good luck charm then. She wanted to wear it again, so we brought a small safe into her room to keep it secure. But when we opened it, the ring was gone. In its place was a note scrawled in your handwriting. It's a waste not to use it, so I'm selling it for you. Oh. She passed away the next morning. Can you imagine her despair losing Dad's ring at such a critical time? I frantically called every pawn shop and finally found the ring and brought it back to her, but it was too late. So, it's such a vague accusation. It doesn't mean it's my fault. That ring was going to be mine eventually anyway. I just took it a little earlier, that's all. Ugh, you're wrong. You're not getting anything. Why not? You're supposed to renounce your inheritance, so everything comes to me. I told you before, I never made that promise. Still, why won't I get the inheritance? She left a will. And? It says your share of the inheritance was given to you when you were sued a while back. What the heck? Remember when you had an affair with that married man and his wife found out? You guys got in a huge fight that escalated to a physical assault. At that time, you didn't have a job or savings, and begged mom for help. Yeah, I remember. The will states this clearly, and there's documented evidence. So the remaining inheritance comes entirely to me. Her lawyer, who she entrusted with these matters, confirmed this. Uh, seriously? You must be joking, right? I'm only telling you the truth. This is the unavoidable reality that unfolded while you were on your illicit vacation with my husband. No way! Anyway, get back here now. If you try to run, I'll hunt you down to the ends of the earth. And you'll face every bit of the punishment you deserve. Hillary, this isn't what I thought. Ugh, I'm busy with work. Why is it Emmett the CEO? Why are you the CEO? What? Oh, I see. That's why you were saying weird things about him having a lot of money. What's going on? Why? Wasn't that company run by his father before? 
Shouldn't he be the second CEO? Yes, he was the CEO until half a year ago. What? Then why are you the one now? He was useless at his job, so his father offered me the position. I hesitated, but given the company's future and the lack of other candidates, I accepted. Oh. Emma stayed as an employee for a while, but his pride was shattered, so he quit. He then became a freeloader, living off me. A freeloader? So he's unemployed. This is a disaster. I was counting on him to pay the alimony you demanded with a breeze. But he's a freeloader living off you? And by the way, the alimony needs to be paid in a lump sum, as agreed. No way! That's impossible. He signed an agreement for a lump sum payment. But that was because I thought he had money. If he's a freeloader and unemployed, it's a different story. I'm not budging on this. Oh, by the way, I put our family home up for sale since it's under my name now. What? You need to move out by next week. Oh, come on! Um, I need to talk to you. Is it a good time? What is it, soon-to-be ex-husband? Ex-husband? We're still married. We're separated and getting divorced soon. Um, about that. I apologize for cheating on you. It's too late for apologies. Just FYI, I hadn't divorced you out of pity before. After I was ousted as CEO, you supported me without complaint. You begged me, saying you'd find a new job within six months, or I'd have the right to divorce you. But instead, you used my money to have an affair with my sister. No pity for you. But listen... Enough excuses. The six months are up, so the divorce is final. You have no right to complain. Please. Now pay the alimony. But I don't have any money. Your father offered you a job, didn't he? I don't want to work in some remote factory. I'm marrying the middle-aged manager there with no chance of divorce. Oh, her. She's been interested in you for a while. Glad you found a new partner so quickly. No way. I prefer a younger woman. Marrying someone over 20 years older is out of the question. What are you talking about? It's rare for someone to love a scumbag like you. Be grateful. No, no, no. Please, take me back. No, thanks. Enjoy your life with her. Our divorce was finalized without a hitch. I not only demanded alimony, but also the amount he had embezzled from our joint savings. Since he was unemployed and broke, the factory manager he was supposed to marry ended up covering the costs. This has made him even more dependent on her, and he now regrets his affair and wishes he hadn't done it. As for Tegan, it turned out she had been involved with multiple married men. I exposed her to their wives, resulting in numerous dramas and threats. She had to borrow money and move to another state to start a new life. She mocked me for being a workaholic, but now she'll have to work even harder than I ever did. Seeing both of them hit rock bottom is quite satisfying. Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.